SpaceX has been on a long road with the development of the Starship, creating dozens of prototypes, testing each one, and conducting three orbital tests so far. Despite these advances, one of the most frustrating aspects for SpaceX has been the slow and strict process of obtaining the necessary licenses for these tests from the FAA. This process has been a significant bottleneck, slowing down the pace of development and testing. However, there's been a recent development from the FAA that's set to change everything regarding how licenses are issued for these kinds of tests. In this video, we're going to look into what the FAA is doing differently and why it's a big deal for SpaceX. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe for future updates on SpaceX's achievements. When we look at the complexity and challenge of developing the Starship, dealing with paperwork like launch licenses should be the last thing SpaceX spends time on. The Starship is SpaceX's stainless steel spacecraft designed to carry humans to Mars. It stands at 120 meters tall with its booster and has a diameter of 9 meters. Its design aims for full reusability to reduce the cost of space travel. The propulsion of the Starship comes from its Raptor engines, which run on liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The choice of methane allows for the possibility of refueling on Mars due to the presence of methane resources. The Starship itself is powered by six Raptor engines, providing a significant amount of thrust necessary to escape Earth's gravity. The Super Heavy Booster, essential for lifting Starship into orbit, is equipped with around 33 Raptor engines, making it one of the most powerful launch vehicles ever planned. The timeline from the drawing board to a functional Starship prototype spans several years, and after all the effort and time SpaceX invests in developing each Starship prototype, obtaining a single launch license from the FAA has been even a bigger challenge. For the first test flight, the FAA issued SpaceX's launch license on April 14, 2023. This announcement came after more than 500 days of review by the FAA, which marked the longest the agency has spent on a single launch license application. This extended review period was attributed to the complexity of the Starship application and the size of the vehicle, creating a significant demand on the agency's resources. For the second integrated test flight of SpaceX's Starship, the process to secure the necessary approvals involved in-depth regulatory reviews. The review began on October 19th, and while it could have taken up to 135 days for the Federal Aviation Administration, the process was completed quicker than the maximum allowed time. Towards the end of 2023, multiple space companies, including SpaceX, expressed frustration with the slow FAA licensing process. They took their concerns to Congress, advocating for reforms to make the process quicker. SpaceX suggested the FAA should hire more staff to speed up the licensing process and even offered help with recruitment. This push for change seemed to have an impact, as the third launch license was issued by the FAA without any delays, allowing SpaceX to proceed with its test flight on schedule. Considering SpaceX's ambitious plan to launch 1,000 starships per year, the FAA's slow licensing process becomes a significant barrier. Even if SpaceX could streamline the process to obtain a launch license in as little as one month, achieving 1,000 launches annually would still be practically impossible under the current system. This is why the FAA introduced a new licensing method specifically for SpaceX, allowing a portfolio of launches under one license. The new approach will allow for a portfolio of launches to be covered under a single license. For SpaceX... This means that the process of launching Starship missions could become significantly more efficient, allowing for multiple launches without the need for separate licenses for each mission. SpaceX's reaction to this development has been positive as the company has been working on the Starship program with the aim of making space travel more accessible and ultimately facilitating missions to Mars. The program has seen a series of test launches with the goal of achieving orbital flight. And recently, the spacecraft reached orbit for the first time on its third test flight, marking a significant step forward in the program. This achievement followed two previous attempts where the rocket failed to reach orbit. The third test began with the ignition of all 33 Raptor engines on the Starship, enabling it to leave the launch pad and ascend into the sky. Following this initial stage, the Starship continued its mission into space, 
where it was supposed to demonstrate various technical capabilities, including engine restarts and maneuvers in the vacuum of space. The Super Heavy booster attempted a new maneuver during this flight, and it performed a boost back burn to return to a planned splashdown point in the Gulf of Mexico. Unfortunately, during its attempt to land, the booster encountered problems that led to its destruction just meters above the water. Meanwhile, Ship 28 successfully completed its engine burns and achieved the planned trajectory for the test. It then attempted to conduct a series of tests in space, including testing the payload bay door operations. However, the flight ended with the Starship losing contact during its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, at about 65 km altitude. After the flight, FAA announced the initiation of an investigation into the mishap. Following the third test flight of Starship, SpaceX didn't pause for long before setting its sights on the next launch. Gwynne Shotwell, the president of SpaceX, speaking at the Satellite 2024 conference in Washington, announced plans for the next Starship launch to occur in approximately six weeks from the date of the announcement. This puts the schedule for the next launch in early May. During her talk, she reflected on the third test flight as incredibly successful, emphasizing that the flight achieved its objectives precisely as planned. The year 2024 is anticipated to be the most successful year yet for SpaceX. In 2022, SpaceX concluded the year with a record for most successful launches by any rocket family. The momentum didn't stop there. In 2023, SpaceX broke its own records, launching vehicles of the Falcon family 96 times, which included 91 Falcon 9 and 5 Falcon Heavy launches. Not only did SpaceX surpass its own record, but it also achieved a significant milestone by completing 100 launches in a consecutive 365 days period. As SpaceX closed out its most successful year in 2023, it set the stage for even more ambitious goals in 2024. The company is targeting a staggering 148 launches, which would require a launch cadence of once every two and a half days. The majority of these launches will use Falcon 9 rockets. There will also be Falcon Heavy launches and Starship launches included in this plan. This plan reflects SpaceX's ongoing efforts to decrease turnaround times on its launch pads and increase the overall launch frequency. The reduced turnaround time for launches, enabled by the FAA's updated licensing process, could significantly impact SpaceX's ability to achieve this goal. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.